Hey everyone, Karmkitsune here, back with another Beyblade review, and today it's the review of the flaws of Revive Phoenix, one of the most powerful, if not in the top three, if not number one, in Beyblade Burst and in Beyblade Burst Shozetsu for its gimmick and for the fact of its combo. Now let's review it, shall we? Real quick, we are going to look at the main part of it, which is that of the layer, and as everyone knows the gimmick, uh... There we go, that should be better. Everyone knows the gimmick that this part comes off of this to make it a little smaller and have this part along with potentially damaging the opponent. Now this is a really good gimmick because it doesn't affect Phoenix too much unless it gets caught within it or if it happens to hit this too much. But even then, it doesn't really affect it because when it goes to here, it, still kind of, it does have the metal ring around here where it would have stayed along with the... Uh, sort of flames around here, which are pretty good. So that would have been good for a layer. It's really nice. The teeth are also really good. And it's just an overall really good layer. And when I have to talk about 10, which is, I think, one of the heaviest, it's in the top 5 heaviest, for how it's completely filled in, sealed in, it's really heavy. And essentially, it's just really good for a lot of Beyblades. So there's not too much to talk about 10. But there is a lot, not too much, but there is some to talk about with the driver Friction. And if you've seen the series, Friction is a defensive driver, which is supposed to be sort of, I think it's made to similar materials of um, the Palm driver, like Yggdrasil. And at first people had thought that because it was called Friction, it would be like made of rubber as well, of like a sort of different type of rubber maybe the kind that was for the hunter drivers where it's sort of tough but uh now nah, it's only because it's called friction because of this part around here in this series the rubber is at least to about down here to where you can probably see the little line here if you can see it i don't think you can though maybe see that line like right here so that's a tent that's where it tends to be because the rubber is more lower, as of which acts as brakes for the Beyblade. This stuff so the camera doesn't get messed up while we're recording. So just focusing, getting out of focus. Because essentially, how it's supposed to work is that with the rubber being down, it's supposed to be a brake and catch it, and tends either catch it to break, like a counter break, or to help push against the opponent. But because the rubber up here is raised too high, that never happens. You can, because like this, it's either going to get, because whenever it's on a Beyblade, if the Beyblade has a frame, that's going to catch the stadium first, or the layer of a Beyblade is going to catch it first. Before that, the driver does. Even if you launch it really hard, the rubber isn't going to hit this that well, unless it's tilted, hits this, kind of breaks, and then has this far against the stadium to move around. So, but Friction's still a really good driver, and can be used for a lot of good defensive combos. So, other than that, there's really no downsides to that of Revive Phoenix. Because even with the whole ability of the armor coming off, it doesn't affect Revive Phoenix too, in too big of a way to where it will probably mess it up. And it is really effective against other Beyblades, especially because it will force them to lose stamina in order to get the armor off while Phoenix is not really affected at all. Unless the armor hits Phoenix while it's spinning, in which case then it will be effective. And that of balance, Revive Phoenix is pretty decent in balance because of these two points here. of The armor, it can it's supposed to be even out, but it kind of gets a little tilted here and there. As you can see by this, it's a little tilted. And even with a normal launch... I have string launcher. It can get thrown off balance. But eventually it heads towards center. Because against other bays, it is still really good. And it's really easy to understand. Overall, I see Revive Phoenix as a really good Beyblade and is completely worth the money to buy. And I can see it as a must buy for the parts. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm probably going to review this Beyblade next, but I'm not going to show you guys, because these are either going to come out in random order, 
or not. I don't know how these are going to come out, or even if a bunch of them will come out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and comment section below, and I'll see you guys, see you guys, see you guys. Later. Peace out, watch our locks, and do whatever you have to. Hit that like and subscribe, and to show your support for this channel, especially if you're new. Peace.